That's right, we're gonna make a green screen. Hey YouTubes, hi people. Thanks for stopping past the Handyman Zone. Today we're making a little bit of a different project and as long as I have your attention for making this green screen, which is a chroma key for making backgrounds in your videos, I'm just gonna remind you I'm a legacy from back in the day, paid YouTube partner. So as long as you're here, all the interaction that you do back and forth right now rates subscriptions and commenting on my video really helps me out so i'm going to help you out showing you how to make a green screen your own green screen not ordering one online for two three hundred bucks that's going to be falling down all the time anyway i'm going to teach you how to make your own with a can of paint and what we're using is this board that we got at a home center it's like a white board with like foam in the middle and it's very light and flexible this one is three foot by six foot it's plenty big we got three pieces one two three pieces it's gonna be more than enough I'm gonna show you the color code to use and we're gonna paint this with a roller let's get going we'll show you maybe it's gonna take ten minutes and an hour to dry and you're ready to go I'm gonna use these here uh, paint rollers and this little uh, this little paint roller handle they call it like a little John or something like that but you could use like a nine inch roller or something but if you're gonna use like the nine inch roller you want to get like a quarter inch nap you're gonna tell the guy at the paint store or the lady at the paint store that you're painting a smooth surface and the nap is the thickness of the fluff on the paint roller um, and the smooth surfaces use a very thin nap, like quarter inch, where if you were painting like a stucco wall or a brick wall that's really rough, you would want like a three quarter inch nap. So we're painting a smooth surface, so you want very thin nap, quarter inch nap. Now I got a gallon, it's flat, flat finish, which means it's not shiny, it's a flat finish paint. I got a gallon, and this is the color, but they could translate this yellow and there's these numbers here, 8x24, you write that stuff down, the guy in the paint store can translate it for you, or he could put it in his computer and translate this Benjamin Moore color to the color of whatever paint they're selling at that store. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, if you're gonna go to this place, this is the color code S-G-430, they call it sparkling apple. If you're gonna go to a regular paint store, it's gonna be this company is the name of the paint Benjamin you know and the color code is 2032-10 neon green and any other paint manufacturer like uh, the Dutch one or anything else they should have the computer at the store where they could put these numbers in and translate it to their own color this can of paint has been sitting for a couple of months. I haven't been able to get around to this project. So right now we're going to open this can. We're going to stir this up. I'm going to link an annotation right here to my video on how to stir a can of paint. It's really important that you stir it the right way. Even they're going to shake it at the paint store after they mix it up. You still want to give it a good stirring. It's important with a rich color like this because a lot of the pigments are going to settle to the bottom of the can even only after a couple of hours of sitting there. So watch the, the paint stirring video. Come on back and, and uh, do your green screen. We're going to show you right now. Now, you're not going to trust that these boards are clean from the home center. So we're always going to be careful with them that we don't bend the corners or dent the edges. But we want to pick out the good side. <coughs> and we want to, uh, want to, at a minimum, brush them down to get the dust off. But better would be with a wet rag with some all-purpose cleaner and wipe them down. Now I realize some of you might be like creative teenagers that don't know squat about shit. So I'm going to like, you know... So you from everything, we're going to push this roller like all the way onto this thing, but you still want it to be able to spin. If it's not spinning, you're just going to smear the paint. There's something going on. Take it off, do it again. We're using, oh great, we're using a paint tray with a disposable liner. You can also just get a plastic paint tray and just throw it out when you're done, but the disposable liner in... 
the real paint tray, although it's highly used, you can see I've had this real paint tray for years and I just use these disposable liners and toss them out when I'm done. Although this one I've already used today twice, once for primer, once for a different color and I washed it out because this is latex paint. You're gonna use a latex paint, it cleans up with water. So even the 59 cent disposable liner, able to use again. Now I'm going to pour the paint from the can into the tray. And I'm not going to fill up the tray too much. I'm going to show you about exactly how much paint. You don't want to make a mess. That's probably too much paint, but I already did it. And then you want to just like wipe up the stuff off the side of the can so it doesn't drip all over the place. But if you watched my video on stirring a can of paint, there's some tips in there about what to do with the rim of the can to let all of this stuff settle back down into the can and not spill over onto the side. So I'm going to give you a second chance at this point. I'm going to put the annotation right here to link to that stirring a can of paint video because there's some useful tips in there. Otherwise, I got about this much paint in the tray. I get ugly. Now we're going to take the paint roller and we're going to get it we're going to get it uh, dampened up with the paint and get the paint give it a minute to soak into this roller so we're just going to Now you notice I'm not putting it in the middle of the puddle I'm working with the edge of the puddle there I'm just trying to get a little area of paint here and I'm flipping the roller over a couple of times because I want to evenly spread it on the roller Oh my god! And now we're going to set it aside for a minute just to let it soak in now you see we got our board on the table. We're going to take the roller, we're going to give it a coat. We're going to let it dry about an hour or so, and then we're going to give it a second coat. Two coats is good. It gives good, deep green color. It's going to give you a really nice green board for excellent effects. We're also going to take the roller and do the edges, okay? So we're going to do one side and the edges. When everything's dry, after giving it like that second coat, we're going to let it dry a good half a day, maybe overnight. And then we're going to tape these together the long way. We're going to tape two in a clamshell so they fold face to face. That way it'll protect itself. And the third one we're going to keep separate because to fold over the other two, it's going to make a seam. So we're going to keep it separate. And as we use it, we'll be able to open the clamshell one up and have two. And then the third one, we're going to temporarily tape as we film, and then when we're on the back, and then when we're done, we're going to take that temporary tape off, fold the clamshell ones up, put the other one face into it, and then store it against a wall somewhere where it won't get damaged. So this is the kind of thing we're going to open up as we need it. It's going to be big enough as the six foot high and a nine feet wide. It'll be big enough to either stand either way and tape on a wall or something like that to get almost any scene we want to do done. If you don't like the board idea, you could also paint a canvas drop cloth that you buy at the paint store. Like a 9 by 12 or a 9 by 15 drop cloth. Paint it with the rollers. Anyway, spread it out on a flat floor or outside in the street and paint it with the roller. Give it two coats. Drop cloth's nice because you can kind of like tack it up on a wall or, or throw it over a piece of furniture or something. So uh, either the boards or a drop cloth, and you're going to have the best green back that you can get. So here we go, we're just applying the paint evenly. Your first coat's never going to look perfect. The second coat's going to look really nice though. So we're just uh, kind of applying it evenly. And then you want to get the edges. I'm not going to bore you with painting the whole thing, but I'm just showing you basically that we're doing the edges. And we're doing the front. And I'm evening it out. And then I'm just going to progress and paint the other two boards the same way. Two coats. Three coats if you need it. Don't be scared to keep adding coats. It's just going to give you a deeper, richer, better green for your effects. So let's look guys, 
Thanks for watching the Handyman Zone today. Sub while you're here because it's all kind of handyman, how to, even as far as the like this videotaper for YouTube. Um, sub while you're here because that all this interaction, the comments, the ratings, and the subs, it really helps me out. I'm a legacy YouTube partner. I'm a paid partner. You can really help me out. If I helped you out, all I ask is that you sub or rate or comment or, or all three. See you later. Here's our three boards. They've been drying for a day. This is three coats now. Here's our three boards. They've been drying for a day. This is three coats now. Three coats and it's a nice rich deep green. And you can really get some cool effects from these green screens. And I'm definitely looking forward to having some fun with this green screen stuff in, uh, in some of my videos. I think it'll come in real handy and I could use some creativity and really make it look special. I mean, look how cool that is and how much fun and imagination you can have with this. Now, I didn't paint this bucket green, but you could paint this bucket with the same paint or paint like a cloth with the paint and drape it over the bucket. And you could plank in outer space. It's all about having fun and using your imagination, you know?